We're back. Again, eat healthy, lift heavy, run hard. I really hope that's what it is. Yeah, run hard. Um, asked, I was wondering, do you ever have those days where you feel like you just hate your body? Um, yeah. A yeah. lot. Yeah. Yeah. I think everyone has those, no matter how fit Just leave it at you. Yeah. Are. Yeah. You always have those days. You just, yeah. <laughs> okay. My dog has those days. Every, everybody. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Okay, um, sorry. Stale fetter. S T A H L fetter. <laughs> what are some good stretches for getting prepared for a workout? This one. Mm -hmm. Also, make sure before you work out, you want to warm up your muscles because if you stretch and your muscle muscles are not warmed up and not or all that, you could pull something. Even what though you're stretching wait, to not pull something. Jillian says with something about static. Yes, it's not you know, static like, or static. One, it's either don't do whichever static or do one is static. Static is like, is like you know the stuff that you do at the end of a workout because you're all warmed up. Or you can do them after you do moving ones, like arm circles, like this, and small ones and big windmills are good, are really good. Um, if you really want to stretch, do like a two minute draw, jog in place and a couple jumping jacks. And then go ahead. Just do just things move. that you do when, like, your foot's asleep. Mm -hmm. Like, what you're trying to do is wake up your body, not, like, this isn't the point where you want to, like, go into full-fledged yoga. Mm -hmm. Like, you need to do a little, a little aerobics. Yeah. It's, especially before one. After one is completely different. That's, you do whatever you want. Your muscle, your body's all ready. But, um, My body's like, ready. My body. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just, like. You know, reach down, get your calves um, done, especially if you have a focus area you're focusing on. Like, for abs, do, like, the yoga, like, uh, yeah. 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 We're okay. taking too long to answer these. I'm sorry. She talks a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, my heart's the same. Asks, when did you decide to lose weight and why? Was it at... Was it at your heaviest, and have you ever had disordered eating? Or an eating disorder? E disordered eating. An eating disorder. Um, when did I decide to lose weight? I've thought about losing weight since, like, sixth grade. I actually started, like, trying a little bit, like, actually working out and stuff, like, last year. And then three weeks and a half ago, I started taking it seriously and actually... Results! We're actually seeing results and actually taking this healthy route, and it's because of the Fiddler community. So thank you for that. What about your question for that? Oh, what, what is the question? Um, that minus eating disorder part. We'll put the video down next. When did you decide to lose weight? Okay. Um, um, yeah. I have always been trying to do weight loss stuff. Um, my family has a lot of health problems because pretty much everybody but me is, like, severely overweight in my family or overweight in general. So I try to not be... But the reason I restarted my blog is because I, uh, my boyfriend and I broke, well, ex-boyfriend, we broke up uh, a couple weeks ago, about a month ago, and I gained seven pounds in, like, two weeks. And it was bad, and you could tell, and obviously, getting out of a three-year relationship and then looking like the worst you've ever looked is not, like, a good thing. Pick me up. Not pick me up. No, it's not like, now I can go live the single life, it's like, now I can go cry in my room eating ice cream. Which I don't like doing. Yeah. So yeah, that's why I'm gonna lose weight. Yeah. Um, I was I at my heaviest. I was not at my heaviest when I really decided to. Like, I was at kind of my mid range, but it was like I'm gonna take this seriously now. Um, and have you ever had an eating disorder? I've never had an eating disorder. Um, I've been affected by eating disorder, like the. Someone over here is going to talk about it. Um, but uh, a lot, a lot, no, like two or three of my very good friends, this one included, um, have had very serious eating disorders, and that's affected me. But I also have severe anxiety, which um, I, it's kind of like the opposite of eating disorder. I eat a lot because I have, like, terrible anxiety, and I'm on, like, medication and stuff like that, and that doesn't help my weight or my self-confidence. So, not an eating disorder, but 
something kind of out of my control that has affected my health habits? Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Make like, it short. Yeah, okay. Don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. Okay. Um, <laughs> I wasn't like diagnosed or anything, but I mean, I, it was pretty, yeah. I am back in seventh grade, popular guy called me fat. I tried puking, didn't work, kind of gave it up. Tried cutting, didn't work, gave it up. Sophomore year was my worst year ever. Ever. I, I had, um, I was cutting, and, um, and then I also started binging and purging. I never really knew, I never really had a name for it. I didn't think I was bulimic because I was just doing it after I ate bad or I ate a ton. And, and for people that know, I, my workplace, I'm a waitress, there's lots of yummy food because they're for the old people and they don't care. They're like, YOLO, you're gonna live five more years. So, <laughs> might as well have a piece of cake. That's dreadful. <laughs> I know, but still. So there's lots of cake and pie and ice cream all around me all the time and I used to binge on all that and I would go in my work bathroom and puke and that was not good. I started doing it a lot. I broke down, I told my counselor, she told my parents, it was really bad and really scary, but it woke me up, and I'm not going to say I haven't, I haven't puked in a really long time. I still purge, and I want to puke, or binge, I still binge, and I want to purge, but... You don't. I don't. She's stronger. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it's, it's a tough road, but, you know... We can do it. So yes, I have had an eating disorder. Yes, it sucked. Yes, I'm still recovering. And I'm here for any of you. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I think there's one more. And it's on yours. Um, from Fit Fever with an, a four and an E. And a four and a three. Ooh. Um, classy. <laughs> classy. Uh, what is your ultimate motivation? How do you keep yourself in check? Oh, what is my ultimate motivation? Um, Should be like myself or yeah. being excited to be healthy. But it's boys! <laughs> yeah. Not everyone. Okay, you cannot lie. Yes, you're you're doing it for yourself, but you can't lie. But you know, you want to see a guy who's going to be like, damn. damn. You want to be in your okay. group of friends and have a guy be like, Damn, no. no. Everyone always says personality, and you're like, they don't know me yet. I want them to not know me and think I'm hot. Okay, we used to work out right over there in my living room, and we would be doing Jillian Michaels squats, <laughs> and we'd just be like, think of the boys! Ice cream! Ice cream! Boys! Bikinis! Bikinis! Beaches! Boys! And we'd just be like saying it over and over, my dad would walk by and be like... <laughs> that, um, what are some, like, let's see some motivations for me, like... My friend Allie Marcotte, she went from like over 200 pounds to about 130. She's like almost 120-ish now. Yeah. She looks hot. And she looks hot. Yeah, she's one of those people who just like looks great at any weight, but mm -hmm. damn! She like worked it <laughs> off and we're like, We're all damn. sitting here like, mm, that's better be me in a year. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it, right? I think so. I mean, yeah. I mean, YOLO. Yelp, dope. Also, um... Getting healthy is the idea. Message me, and she's trying to get her sister some tickets to One Direction uh, because she got her other concert tickets. So there's a link on her blog, and if you guys would check it out, that would mean a ton to her, and it would, it would be awesome. It's just a really nice thing to do. It takes two seconds of your time. Um, and we know it's One Direction, and a lot of you are like, but and some of you are like, deal? yeah, but you know what? If someone else loves it, yeah, let's you know let's be happy for. One Direction, because they're doing so well. Some of them are pretty cute. Yes. Yeah. And their accents. Do it for the boys in One Direction, guys. <laughs> that's that's my motto. Just yeah. So um. So, yeah. That's it. This is going to be probably a three-day thing, or a four-day thing, because I just realized Tumblr has a five-minute limit. We start a YouTube channel! Yes! Yes! That's what we're doing. This we're starting a, a, this is now a YouTube video. This is now a YouTube video that we will post on our vlogs. Yes. So we will both post the links. Uh, if you follow me and don't follow her, follow her. She's awesome and has like a cool layout. My layout kind of just looks like somebody pooped on it. But, but she's hot. But I'm 
So right. everyone who's following me, please follow her because I'm going to be talking about her a lot and we're going to be together a lot and we do motivational things together most of the time when we're free and we're probably going to be spending a ton of the summer together. So yeah. Who knows? I mean, you could see more of us in like the next week. Ooh. And um, yeah. So oh. congrats to our solo promo winner. We will post yeah. it on. Who was that again? It was. One more time, it. we're gonna say that. Yeah. Wait. Nike, Nike girl, girl swag one thirty five. Nike, Nike girl swag one thirty five. Nike girl swag one thirty five. Go follow that person. Go follow her. She's great. I love her blog. Me too. Just kidding. I have to go follow her. I don't follow her yet. She's a sweetie. Sorry. I'll go follow her. And anyway. she's gorgeous. Look at her. Damn. She's gorge. She should be in our videos. Right? She should. Let's get her over here. Come up to New York. More people would follow us. <laughs> All right. So. All right. Peace. Is this the, this is the end. This is the end. How do you end these? I don't know. I'm. Thank you. We should sing the five two one zero song. Five two one zero. Be a healthy hero. You didn't harm. Now goodbye. Okay, <laughs> See you guys. I'll cut that out. Bye.